Hey everyone, I have a quick word to release today. And today's word is, you're like Mike, dunking on demons. And today's scripture reference is 2 Timothy 2, 25 through 26. And it reads, gently instruct those who oppose the truth. Perhaps God will change those people's hearts and they will learn the truth. Then they will come to their senses and escape from the devil's trap for they have been held captive by him to do whatever he wants. So many of, you, many of you are like the Michael Jordan of the devil's playbook, of, of, of knowing about the devil's playbook, and you are just dunking on demons left and right. And to the point where you're really even starting to help other people around you um, learn the devil's playbook so that they can dunk on those demons as well. And many of you know, I mean, Michael Jordan was um, probably, I mean, many might argue this fact, but you know, I grew up in uh, the Chicago area. So of course I grew up watching Michael Jordan and he's really known pretty wild, widely as uh, arguably one of the best basketball players of all time and you know he had a whole brand and franchise of, of Nike clothing movies and I think there's a message in that too is that many of you are entrepreneurs and you're taking the gifts that God gave you and you're going to be um, really um, pursuing multiple platforms, multiple streams of income based on the gifts that God gave you, much like Michael Jordan. So in this word, um, many of you are dunking on these demons and you've gotten to the point in your life where you know the devil's playbook, you can see what he's trying to do, um, you've gotten really good at fighting spiritual warfare. And so now there are people around you who are coming to you. They're asking for advice and you're helping them to see how the devil is trying to distract them from their purpose. And it says right here in 2 Timothy 2 through 25 through 26, gently instruct those who oppose the truth. Perhaps God will change those people's hearts and they will learn the truth. Then they will come to their senses and escape from the devil's trap for they have been held captive by him to do whatever he wants. And we all know the devil comes to kill, steal, and destroy. And his main objective on this earth is to try to keep you and those around you out of God's perfect will for their lives. Because when people step into their purpose, it's a ripple effect. And many people are going to come to know Jesus Christ through each person stepping into their purpose because then they affect people who then affect people who then affect other people. So if the enemy can stop one person from stepping into their purpose, then he's successful. But because you've really kind of become an expert level demon slayer, <laughs> you know, you are just slam dunking on these demons, not only in your life, but also helping to share your knowledge that you've learned with other people so that they can see clearly the enemy's tactics and that they will stay on track and that they will step into God's perfect will and purpose for their lives. And you know, whenever you're getting close and you're stepping into your purpose, the enemy is going to throw everything he can to try to distract you, to try to get you from finishing the Lord's divine instructions. And for many of you, the Lord may have given you divine instruction, maybe to start a business, maybe to write a book, maybe to start a YouTube channel, um, maybe to pursue acting, to pursue um, songwriting, screenwriting, any number of things. And you are just procrastinating and you're finding yourself coming up against distraction after distraction after distraction. Well, this is not a coincidence. This is exactly the devil's playbook and what he does. Sorry. Devil's distraction. What he does when you are stepping into your purpose. So don't fall for the enemy's tricks. Don't fall for the, the you know, the snares, the traps and just keep moving forward in your purpose. Nothing else matters other than finishing 
and pursuing the instructions that the Lord has given you. Because once you finish that next set of instructions, the Lord will give you another set of instructions. So don't worry about five steps ahead. Just focus on the right now. Focus on what you can do today to achieve um, a step forward in your purpose. And I don't care what the enemy throws at you. Don't get distracted. When you are in your purpose, you are in Psalm 91 protection. The enemy can't hurt you. Now he'll try. He's going to try his best. He's going to surround you with people who are going to be speaking against your destiny. They're going to be um, trying to lead you down other paths. Now we've talked about the counterfeit relationships that are coming out of the woodwork who are trying to, you know, pursue you. Um, these could be friendships who might, you know, be passive aggressively speaking, um, death into your situation. You know, if someone is, is saying something to you that's shaking your confidence, that's the enemy. And you have to identify what it is and also teach people how to treat you and let you let people know when they speak death into your situation that you don't want to talk about it, that you're not in agreement with that. And you're not going to listen to it. It says in the book of John, my sheep know my voice. And if these are Christians, you say to them, the, the word of God says, my sheep know my voice. I know what my father's spoken to me and tell them like, you know, have you prayed about this advice you're giving me? Because unless you've gone to the Lord about this and prayed about it, I don't want to hear it because the enemy will use Christians around you. He'll use pastors to speak death into what you know, your shepherd's voice, what you know he's called you to do. This is the enemy's playbook, you guys. I'm trying to teach you what the enemy does. We do not battle against flesh and blood. It doesn't mean these people are bad people. They're being used. There's a spirit behind it. And you have to look at these things from a spiritual standpoint, from the bigger picture. You are a soldier in Christ's army, and it's not always going to feel good. And it's not always about you. Just be a good soldier and get your mission done. Get your mission accomplished, what the Lord's called you to do. You've submitted yourself to the Lord. Now don't let the enemy distract you because especially before your breakthrough, he is going to throw every trick in the devil's playbook at you. And I've named a handful of them. Don't fall for it. Don't fall for it. Stay focused. Get your mission accomplished and the Lord will flourish you. He will prosper you. He will protect you. And anything that speaks contrary to that is a lie from the pit of hell. So don't listen to it. And, um, you know, you are actually helping other people step into their purpose as well. So keep on your mission. Keep helping those around you. Share this video with someone you know who might be struggling, who you think might need to hear it. I want to welcome all my new subscribers to the family. All of you who like, comment, share, um, hit the notification bell so that you receive these messages as they're put out because we need to expose the devil's playbook and help people step into their God-given purpose on this earth, which is created to help you flourish. It's created to prosper you and not harm you as it's written in Jeremiah 29 11. And the Lord wants to break you free of the enemies of Satan's matrix, the sin cycles in your life, they're holding you in chains and in bondage. The Lord wants to break this off of you, but it does require some action on your part. It requires repenting from your sin, pursuing a holy and righteous lifestyle, and moving forward, seeking first the kingdom of God. And all of these things will be added to you. So I'm not sure who this message is for today. Please take this to the Lord for confirmation. Test the spirit behind every prophetic word, including mine. And I just want to thank all of you who've sown so generously into this ministry. I pray over every seed that's sown, the Lord will increase it a thousandfold. If you feel the Holy Spirit is leading you to sow into this message, I would encourage you to do so. If you're really um, 
partnering with me here in the Dominican Republic so that I can focus on releasing these messages to you on a full-time basis, on a daily basis. And I'm also open to do ministry work and mission work in this country as the Holy Spirit leads me. So thank you so much for all of your support. I pray for each of you every day. I pray that the right people receive these messages. I pray that the Lord go before you, that he follows behind you, and that he will continue to lead, guide, and protect you in your perfect in his perfect will for your life so i just want you all to know that i love you so much with the love of christ and stay blessed